Hola, ¿qué tal, jóvenes? Saludos. A ver, so, um, hoy es el 8 de octubre. Hoy es el 8 de octubre. Y vamos a repasar. We're going to review. Ok, so we learned um, about la casa en el capítulo 2. And today what we're going to do quickly is review before moving on. Ok, so in this chapter, at the beginning of the chapter, we learned about the colors. ¿verdad? Basic colors. Blanco, white. Negro, black. ¿verdad? Verde, azul, amarillo, anaranjado, marrón, gris, rojo. ¿verdad? Those are the colors. Also, we learned that in the house uh, we have habitaciones, rooms, ¿verdad? Habitaciones. Remember that the H is silent, okay? So don't do the, that um, is produced in English, okay? No, in Spanish, it's going to sound nothing, <laughs> okay? So, habitaciones. Um, la casa tiene habitaciones. La casa tiene una cocina, ¿verdad? Una cocina, the kitchen. La casa tiene un cuarto de baño, is the bathroom. La casa tiene un dormitorio, ¿verdad? Un dormitorio. La casa tiene un salón. Now, pay attention. The word salón is mainly used in Spain. In America Latina, we prefer to use sala, la sala, el salón masculine en la sala feminine, ¿ok? La sala de estar. Uh, en la página 57, 57, you see, basically, to the side, usually you find little notes. Pay attention to those notes because they are giving you information um, that uh, it's important. Okay. Bien. Uh, so, those are the, the rooms that we covered so far. Also. On page 59, we have some common expressions. Um, it's, it's extremely important to be acquainted with those expressions. Why? Because we're going to be able to express um, likes in the sense of favorite, okay? Do not use the verb to like because we haven't covered that one, okay? so. Um, let's use favorito for now, okay? If, uh, if I want to, to say that my favorite sport is football, then mi deporte favorito. Pay attention. Deporte is the thing that I like, okay? So the thing is going in front of favorito. In English, you do the opposite, okay? So this is extremely important. Um, in Spanish, we place the thing first, and then we mention favorito after, okay? And favorito has to agree in terms of gender, okay? Um, and number two, por ejemplo, mi animal favorito es el perro. Mis animales favoritos son... Eh, los pájaros uh, o los gatos, I'm sorry. Um, now, if I'm changing the gender of my noun, let's use comida, which is feminine. I'm going to say mi comida favorita. Mi comida favorita es. And then I mention the plate, el pescado, la carne, ¿verdad? La fruta o la verdura. Um, so that's basically what we covered in um, chapter 2 so far. Uh, at this point, we should be able to ask 
what is your favorite sport what is your favorite animal what is your favorite food what is your favorite class like asignatura okay or clase uh, but also we should be able to answer them mi clase favorita es música mi clase favorita es matemática also we can express our opinion para mí mi clase favorita es matemáticas ¿verdad? ¿cuál es tu habitación favorita? para mí again once I say para mí I'm establishing my opinion I'm letting you know that I'm just giving you my opinion para mí la habitación favorita es el dormitorio. Okay. Um, we should be able also to um, ask what color is the, for example, the kitchen. De qué color es la cocina? Okay. Bien. So I think that should be a good review about what we covered. Remember, the adjectives, in this case colors, they have to agree with the thing that they are modifying, that, that, that they are describing. So that thing is going to be a noun, okay? Um, so if I'm talking about my computer, mi computadora es gris, ¿verdad? Mi computadora es blanca. Pay attention, computadora is feminine. So then when I have an adjective that is ending in either O or A, then I have to think about the agreement, okay? If my adjective is ending with an E, like verde, then I have no problem. I can use it for both. But if the adjective is like rojo, amarillo, blanco or negro then i have to pay attention to the gender okay bien please if you have questions email me send me um, a message via skype and then we can talk and we can go over this again okay hasta luego chao